As the field of Democratic candidates for president grows, so too does the map of states they are visiting. Lisa Desjardins takes a look. Today in Pittsburgh, former Vice President Joe Biden's first speech as a current presidential candidate. The country wasn't built by Wall Street bankers. It was built by you. It was built by the great American middle class. Choosing his native Pennsylvania, Biden aimed to show he can win with frustrated swing voters. If I'm going to be able to beat Donald Trump in 2020, it's going to happen here. It's going to happen here. Biden's 2020 Democratic rivals have spent little time in Pennsylvania so far, but in Nevada this weekend, a handful of Democrats made similar overtures to working class voters at a union conference in Las Vegas. We must get a $15 minimum wage. Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar. We're strongest when we stand together. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. The concerted attacks on organized labor. Also there, California Senator Kamala Harris and former Texas Congressman Beto O'Rourke. This weekend, O'Rourke also unveiled a 10-year, $5 trillion climate change plan that aims to get the U.S. to net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. His plan uses an initial government investment to spark private spending. I've sat there. Meantime, New Jersey Senator Cory Booker took his Justice for All tour, focused on criminal justice reform, to Florida. Booker's pushing to expand voting rights for felons, something Florida voters approved last year and some in the state legislature are trying to limit. Joe's a lot like our firefighter. But in the endorsement the race, Biden scored his first big win, America the endorsement of the International Association of Firefighters. He's one of the staunchest advocates for working families. Biden is zeroing in on a key set of 2020 battlegrounds, seeking to rebuild the so-called Blue Wall, states of Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, home to many white, working-class voters. Biden and President Obama won those three states, both in 2008 and 2012. But in 2016, President Trump flipped them red. And Mr. Trump is fighting to keep that block. Over the weekend, Mr. Trump held a rally in Green Bay, Wisconsin. He told the manufacturing state that the Japanese prime minister privately pledged to invest billions in new car factories. They're coming back. They want to be back to Ohio, to Pennsylvania. And today on Twitter, Mr. Trump criticized Biden's inaugural speech in Pennsylvania and said his policies have helped the state, especially its steel industry. As the two men spar over Pennsylvania voters, Biden's visit today is likely the first of many visits to the state by both the former vice president and current president. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Lisa Desjardins.